Ivy Valentine subscribes to Mark Yoon, so should you. Enjoy your treat! Hey, what's up guys? It's Mark Yoon. So today what I want to talk about is Street Fighter 6. And like there was a showcase. Uh, I watched the full thing and I took a bunch of notes on it. Um, I did have some concerns. So I'm going to get into uh, covering just everything that's going on th so far. I have a bit of news first before then, and then we're going to jump into uh, my concerns with, um, uh, I don't want to say the direction. I just want to say future implications. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit the like buddy button as always. I uh, appreciate it. So let's just start right away. So first thing I want to talk about is this weird kind of uh, thing that they're doing. This was shown on the Xbox store. I have an article that I can read for you to go more in depth into this, just to give us a little bit more detail. But what I want to talk about is uh, them splitting up the modes of Street Fighter VI into like different downloads. Um, this has been, I guess, touted as being like a, a space saver for those of us who haven't gotten like SSD extensions yet on next gen consoles or whatever. Um, even my one terabyte uh, NVMe PCIe, my PS5 is already full, so I'm gonna have to start looking for a two terabyte at some point. Um, and that's with a five terabyte hard drive on the back of my PlayStation 5 with like all my PS4 games. So same thing on my Xbox actually. Uh, but the thing that I wanted to talk about is this. So there's implications that come with this in particular and i want to read this article and then we're going to get into my implications but i want to talk about all this together so this article has been posted by dakota dark horse hills and it is street fighter 6 will allow players to download the game's big mode separately from the main title and as we read along we can see street fighter 6 is looking to kick off the next generation of capcom fighting games in a big way it's going to allow players to customize their experience in ways that it hasn't been seen before on top of the classic modern and dynamic control schemes offered to players it seems capcom is going to allow street fighter 6 owners to essentially download only parts of the modes of the games they want to use according to the xbox store uh, page which has been updated for the game street fighter 6 is going to offer fighting ground and world tour modes as separate downloads that suggests the core installation of street fighter 6 may only include battle hub portion of the game we've gotten to experience in the first two closed beta tests performed so far uh, by the way there is currently a demo out right now if you want to try the game out interestingly it may mean that standard versus mode may not be there considering it's technically part of street fighter 6's fighting ground suite Although Capcom hasn't gone over every single mode, including the fighting ground, we do know it contains versus, online battle, extreme battle, training mode through the website that states all modes found in Street Fighter V are included in fighting ground. That would also suggest that the arcade mode and survival will also be part of fighting ground, along with any individual character stories. World Tours, of course, the new single player story mode where users will create their own avatar and run around in a semi-open world for the first time in the franchise. They've shown off some of the mini games and special editions in the mode, like teaming up with the world class masters through Capcom has yet to reveal what the minute to minute experience is going to look like overall. They actually did in the showcase and we'll talk about that. Xbox and PlayStation updating their store pages for Street Fighter 6 have also revealed how much drive space the game is going to require as well. How much more room for Fighting Ground and World Tournament are going to take up over the suggested 50 gigabytes remains to be seen, but it's quite interesting that Capcom seems to be keenly aware that they are not, that not every aspect will appeal to every player and allow them to control what they have downloaded, which is something we don't often see in fighting games. And that is the problem that I actually have, so let's read this tweet first from Fighting Game Daily. According to Microsoft Store, it seems single player modes in Street Fighter 6 will be downloadable separately from the main game. It also saves a lot of storage. Just a little weird for Fighting Ground to be separate download because it includes versus and training mode. And then we have one last update tweet for this before I get into my opinion on this. Bring your customized avatar from World Tour into Battle Hub for the chaos that is Avatar Battles. Hit the streets and World Tour with RPG like mechanics and overarching story, which we already knew is not the saving space thing. Like by all means, if you don't have enough save space, this is awesome. What I'm concerned with is Street Fighter is known for being bare bones. It's known for launch titles not having much. It's known for 
um, catering to the, the FGC hardcores and esports, which is fine. That's They're the ones that majorly promote the game and keep it alive in tournaments. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. What I am saying is when it comes to numbers games, and I'm not talking about specifically the developers, I'm talking about the publishers and I'm talking about the investors and I'm talking about the financiers. When they go down and they look at these downloads, we spent all this money and time pouring into these resources for these single player modes that people have seemingly been clamoring over for years it seems. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate these modes. Now what does that tell you exactly? Well, I will tell you, this is what it tells you. If you don't have space on your PlayStation or Xbox and uh, you know, don't download those modes or you're not interested in those modes, they're gonna take that into consideration. So when they're talking about their next big game and where to allocate resources and where to put their money and financing into, do you think that they're gonna spend a ton of money on character creation or single player experiences like this semi open world or even the fun hubs where you can like play the uh, arcade games like Street Fighter 2 and stuff like that with your friends um, or the Yakuza like streets where you're running around and actually having to use supers to get around and traverse and do stuff. Training with masters akin to Xenoverse, setting up battles like you would in Smash Brothers with items and contingencies or uh, <laughs> other things like tag mode and stuff like that. Do you think they're gonna care about any of that when like out of, let's say 12 million downloads for the game, only like 1.9% of those people download the single player experiences? So it's basically, as I understand it, we have the story mode for Street Fighter, we have um, World Tour, which has like verses and um, like online battles and training and all that stuff and then we have the create a character one where you're running around the world or whatever so when people don't download that what's that what is that going to tell capcom it's going to say we didn't need this we don't want this like we don't care about this all we care about is playing online all we care about is a good net code all we care about is being able to fight with people Awesome. I really, really, really do think that that is a very big, probably the most important part of the game, uh, the gameplay and the balance and the online netcode and stuff like that. But for somebody like me who drops Street Fighter almost immediately every single time in lieu of just playing with friends online because like there's nothing to freaking do. It's something akin to what we would see in a game like uh, Mortal Kombat or Soul Calibur, for example. Like, uh, longing for modes like Chronicles of the Sword, as close as Libra got to that. Uh, these single player mode experiences that not only engage us, but engage us with the characters that we care about and creating characters. What I'm getting upset with is, is that like the next game that comes out after these sales are revealed, they're gonna have like just the basic arcade online and whatever like off the jump again and it's like when we already know the numbers you you really think that like out of like 10 million people like 5 million of them are gonna download the single player modes especially when they're trying to conserve space on their consoles no they're absolutely not like there are gonna be people, people who only download that and don't download the Street Fighter 6 story or the uh, World Tour because they don't care about playing online or anything like that, but that's a very, very small majority. When we're talking about fighting games as being as niche as they are, um, Capcom fighters and specifically Street Fighter among the top are known primarily as like esports kind of games. They are primarily known as like just versus online ranked mode kind of games. Like, But the fact that they're offering this as a separate mode is like the biggest problem that I have with this. Because I know you right there, you're not going to download this. I don't know, something that I'm concerned with. I don't know if you are, I'm probably going to do a poll on the community tab about this. Like I really want to know your thoughts, uh, especially in the comment section down below about that. But what the last thing I want to get into before we end the video is I want to talk about the characters that are actually releasing. So we have this tweet and I'm going to show it on screen. So we have... Rashid, which is coming out summer of 2023. We have Aki, or AKI, AKI, which is autumn of 2023. We have Ed, which is winter of 2024. And we have Akuma, which is spring of 2024. They did say the DLC characters will be a part of the world tour or whatever. They'll be the fighting world, fighting ground. They'll be a part of you running around and getting the new masters and they will deepen their lore, they said. So I, I do am excited for that. And uh, now for last thing, I wanna talk about last week's poll. I asked, what is your most desired feature that you want to see in Naruto across Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections? Crossplay, rollback, customization, and free room. So starting from the number one most voted for thing, we got customization coming in at 33%. Secondarily, crossplay coming in at 30%. 
rollback netcode coming in at 22% and free roam coming in at 15%. Uh, I thought rollback would have been a little bit higher up there, but uh, it isn't. And then going over some of the comments that we see here, we have crossplay plus free roam already, the two most important options here from uh, Jalen's protector. Um, I can't say I'm not, I'm not going to agree with that. Like that is super important, but, uh, a lot of people vote for different stuff in these polls. I don't know. And not 931 says, I really don't have a desired feature. Never really have for Naruto games because they are always made on point. Um, the way that I like, but maybe a good amount of Boruto characters. Uh, every game that you love should be criticized more than the ones that you hate because criticism and the devs will actually change stuff towards like. Uh, a lot of people's same opinions as opposed to just like blindly loving everything that comes out. That's why I criticize the games that I love because I want them to do better. I want them to be better. I want to get more uh, bang out of it for our money. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, any other thoughts, like I always say, are always welcome in the comment section down below. Sorry for rambling on too much about the world tour. Uh, just let me know what you think about that. And as I always say, guys, I love it. Thank you. And thank you.